Let's see is like accessing the extras section. Oh, be quiet, Chloe. I think that's her name. Other videos. Oh. Oh, it is Chloe. All right. Let's continue on. Hold up. Okay. Oh. Let's say what's with Twitch? Why is it still determining my? Why is Twitch doing this? Still determining quality. My bit rate's high. Something, please make sense. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time. I'm sure. We Hank, you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank. But it's over. Okay. Talk to Hank. Okay. I know we could have done it. Fowler is right. Everybody's terrified their android could turn on them. What if we're on the wrong side? What if we're fighting against people that just want to be free? I know we're on the right side. Human beings created us. They're our masters. Ooh, I went the no wrong way. No machine should rebel against its creator. When I was hanging off the roof back at the urban farm, you let that deviant go in order to help me. You put my life above the mission. You showed empathy, Connor. And empathy's a human emotion. I'm not programmed to say things like this, but I really appreciated working with you. With a little more time, who knows? We might have even become friends. You're gonna have to choose your side, Connor. Deciding who you are can be the hardest thing. You want your back. I don't think I've gotten this tangent before. I mean, I've gotten the friend part before, but this Jericho part, I don't, I, I didn't get that before. Yeah, I got, I went the other way. Hank resigns and leaves. Yeah, I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't do that. Yeah, I went a completely different way. Yeah, I went completely different. Whoa. Okay. At this point, I was just trying to figure out what would be the right answer for what I was trying to do for the Let's Play, but now that 
Connor's off. I don't know what to do now. I guess just let him go deviant, maybe? I don't know. That'd be the only thing I can think of is make him go deviant since he has no one to serve unless he gets a new owner, if you will, but I don't know that. Since he leaves for Jericho. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I know I'm nearing the end of this game, too. That's why I decided to stream it, because I know I'm near the end. I want to wrap this game up. anyone's attention. short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war, but I'd rather die free than live as a slave. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did was for our people. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? We have to face them. There's no other choice. This is insanity. Get all the guns that you can find. We're going to free Detroit. I'm on it. You're making a mistake, Marcus. You won't buy our freedom with blood. I had a dream. And this is what you get for dreaming. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. Convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. A dirty ball. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens 
happens tomorrow. I just want you to know that thing. I'm glad I met you. join the others. Look after yourself. that moment. Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. Okay, so he still has an objective with Amanda. Well, that's our... That's our goal. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. Yes, you can shoot me. But I won't change anything. Someone else will just take my place. You see, our people are waking up. And nothing can stop us now. You're coming with me! We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. You don't have to be their slave anymore. You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. You really don't have to do this. You don't have to obey them anymore. You are alive. You can decide who you want to be. You can be free. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. It's time to decide. Nice try, but I'm no deviant. Josh, 
I don't know. We got separated. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it! The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. On your side. With us? Are you a human? Obviously. What do I look like? DPD. I work with Lieutenant Hank Anderson. We're on a stakeout. If I knew you were coming, I would have brought some donuts. You're a lucky guy. Another second I'd have shot you. You should go back up on deck and let us do our job. You're right. That's... Exactly what I'm gonna do. Smooth comment, very smooth. to stop them? I don't know. So, I don't know if I can stop them. Oops. Darn it! Jeez. Quick! This way! Find north. I'll join you later. My mission is to neutralize you, and I always accomplish my mission. Mm. And my mission is to save our species. Looks like only one of us can succeed. I gotta go. 
go. They killed him. That was really hard because like <laughs> duality of man, like I don't want them working with Take him away. Yes, sir. And clear the ship in order the men to withdraw. So I'm still worth Connor. This isn't over. Okay. So Connor's still alive. I killed Marcus. Okay. Let's see. Follow the same path up until here. I think. No, I don't know. Oh, I got up here. Yeah, I got all the way over here. But now, Marcus, yep, he fled, but I killed him. So, Connor's left. Marcus gave his life for our people. He showed us that we can choose our own destiny. But he is not here to guide us anymore. Now it is up to us to finish what he started. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are in camps right now, being destroyed. The time has come for us to make a choice. One that may decide the future of our people. They wanted a war, they'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom. And we will win or we will die for you. Marcus is now dead. So. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President! 
A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapons stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Madam President! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant leader has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! What's going to happen to Cyberlife? Will androids be banned definitively? We're working very closely with Cyberlife to neutralize all Deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the android question. Thank you. That will be all. Today, 38, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We have been fighting to liberate our fellow androids from the camp since dawn. We won't cease hostilities until our people are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing. Uh, normally, we would play through that, but we can't, <laughs> because Marcus is done. Ooh, is Marcus going to be a snipey sniper, or Connor going to be a sniper? Ooh, I think he is going to be a sniper. That's fun. Again, this is whole new for me, so I don't know. Oh yeah, he's a sniper. He's gonna be a snipey boy. Connor. Keep out of this, Lieutenant. It's none of your business. That's what I thought for a long time, but I was wrong. Deviant's blood may be a different color than mine, but they're alive. Deviants are a threat to humans, Hank. They're the reason this country's on the brink of civil war. They have to be stopped. We're in this mess because we refuse to listen to deviants. Humanity never learns from its mistakes, Connor. This time it could be different. Oh, here we go again. Step away from the ledge. to your son, Hank. It wasn't your fault. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Little Cole had just turned six. Shut up! Don't you talk about my son! After all we've been through. I respected you, Hank. I thought we were friends. Oh, yeah, I was just starting to like you, too. But then I realized you never change. You don't feel emotions, Connor. You fake them. You pretended to be my friend when you don't even know the meaning of the word.
Hank too, but for the sake of the let's play. Oh, this is rough. mission is to neutralize the leader of the Deviants, and I always accomplish my mission. We fought for our dream and we lost. You can't hold my people down forever. One day we'll rise up again and we will win. Go on. Shoot. What are you waiting for? And now, straight over to Detroit for a report on the conflict. Joss? Yes, Michael. Authorities have just confirmed. Fighting has now ceased in Detroit, and the area around the Hart Plaza camp is now under control. We can see soldiers going through the city at this very moment, and they are exterminating the last fleeing deviants. Law and order has finally been restored to the streets of Detroit. There is a general feeling of shock in Detroit after the terrible events of the last few hours. And initial estimates report several hundred troops have been killed. According to our sources, the deviant leader known as North was shot during the fighting. The death of the deviant leader marks the end of the Android Rebellion. The destruction of the androids in the camps can now continue as planned. Nevertheless, it will take some time for Detroit to recover from these events. By creating machines more intelligent than ourselves, we took immense risks with the very future of our civilization. However, the situation is now under control. The total destruction of all androids will soon be complete, and the last remaining deviants will be hunted down and destroyed. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. Well, <clears throat> that was Detroit Become Human. The, um, Let's play where I say where the the goal of this let's play was to be less deviant as possible. That meaning Kara died from her owner. Um, Marcus had to be deviant uh, without an opportunity to remain a machine 
um, and Connor to, to follow the orders that he was given. Whew. Everything, well, I was gonna say, I think like everything up until the end was about the same as my first playthrough on this game, but, well, except for Kara. Had a lot more Kara the first time around, but, um, doing this end, like, there was, like, some parts throughout the story where it was, like, different than my own personal playthrough, and I probably mentioned that throughout the whole entirety of this Let's Play, but just the end of it was, like, wow, completely different than before. So... To see this really different side is very bizarre. I was gonna say refreshing, but that wouldn't be the right word. <laughs> yeah, you missed out on all of them in the uh, amusement park. You missed a whole lot of car stuff. stay right here on the credits, I suppose. I just want to see if uh, something happens here at the end. Or if that just really depends on my uh, playthrough, maybe. I don't think it does. I think it just... Depends. Well, maybe not. I don't know. I'm gonna wait and see. See, there should be something that happens at the end of the game in the main menus with Chloe. Connor, I'm so glad to see you. The deviant issue has finally been resolved. Now with these unfortunate events behind us, Cyberlife can return to business as usual. Of course, we will have to rebuild our customers' trust, but it's only a matter of time. I have a surprise for you. This is the new RK900. Faster. Stronger more resilient and equipped with the latest technologies the state department just ordered 200,000 units what is going to happen to me you've become obsolete you'll be deactivated you can go now So, um, the ending I got the first time was I had Marcus go, or had Connor go deviant, and he ended up helping Marcus and Jericho, but then at some point he gets attacked by another Marcus android, and that's who it is that sent him, was Amanda. Hmm. Interesting. Um. Okay. Revolution at Har Plaza. 
Crossroad. What was ultimately my ending first time around? Approaching Recall Center. Assault was successful. Oh. Uh, okay, never seen this before, but... Hmm. Okay. Only one character left. You have to save them. What? She is so distraught. What? She's so distraught. Only one character left. You have to save them? What does she mean by that? Yeah, then they had you take some survey. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they had you take a survey the first time you played. I'm not sure why she's looking so distraught, but... Okay. Hmm. Well, now she seems... She's not distraught anymore. She's just really pissed off. Oh, no, she's still distraught. Hmm. Well, that's going to be the end of Detroit Become Human Let's Play. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this series. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video. Um, I was just thinking near the end of this that maybe I'll play... Um, Oh, what's the game that came out before this? After Heavy Rain? Beyond Two Souls? I think, yeah, that's what it's called, Beyond Two Souls. Maybe I'll play that. I don't know, but I still gotta finish. Um, Spider-Man and Life is Strange 2. And then I gotta play Uncharted 4 and Lost Legacy. I've got a lot of games I still gotta let do, finish Let's Plays on in the series, so. But that will come in time. I know Spider-Man's going to take forever, because I thought I was near the end of Spider-Man, but I think I'm about halfway, and then I got the DLC to do as well. But, um, pfft, I'll probably just start plugging away at Spider-Man. I think last time I finished, last time I played Life is Strange 2, I think I did a I think I finished an episode. I didn't stop halfway through, I think. I could be wrong. But, yeah. That's going to be it for me. Um, again, hope you guys enjoy the series. I I did for what it was worth, just with the goal in mind to be le least deviant as possible. Um, and I will catch you guys next time.